Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for June 2024. You have this blessed ideas card. It says, allow your ideas to come to fruition and they will bring many blessings. You have this lighthouse card. It says, you're a light that can't be hidden, so don't even try to dim it for anyone. There you go. Shine in your light bright here, Cancer. I really do feel that, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'll say this. I think that this is a really good work month for you, Cancer. It's a really good month for anything, but you know, I think that you're, you could be uh, surrounding yourself with good people. You have this birds of a feather card, or you could be um, feeling more supported in the work that you do. And, you know, again, I feel this is going to lead to a lot more success. I feel like something has like recently happened for you here, Cancer, where um, it's like maybe you uh, realized you had a skill that you didn't know you had. <laughs> and or like maybe you you realized that you are a natural at something. And again, by that, I mean, like, you know, sometimes we do something and, uh, you know, it comes easily to us. And then someone's like, oh, that you did a really good job at doing that. And you're like, what? That was so easy. Um, but maybe it's not easy. Like if you have one of those moments right here with the judgment card, like if someone tells you, oh, like, oh, you did a really good job with that or whatever, you know, at like work or in business, or maybe someone just tells you something. Uh, I feel like this could be like a skill that you don't realize that you're good at. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of funny because um, this reading is just the vibe I'm getting off of it is reminding reminding me of trying energy. So like people who are, and you have this uh, fire trine showing up at the end here. Um, so people who are born with a lot of trines in their chart, um, they are just like naturally good at doing things. And so you, like trines are things that we are born with in astrology. So if you have like a trine in your chart, um, chances are like whatever the transit is that it's between in your astrology is like some sort of skill, talent, gift, skill, or ability that you were born with. And you probably don't know that you're good at it because you're born with it. If you're born with something, you don't think you're good at it because it just came naturally to you. And, um, you know, again, that's like trying energy. People with trying, a lot of trines in their chart are usually seen as being lazy, but it's not that they're lazy. They're just good at things and they, they don't even realize that they're good at a bunch of stuff. And so they don't use the energy, right? Um, and what I would say here is that I feel like you're kind of like waking up to something that you're good at or you're, you know, getting some sort of pat on the back, maybe from like a boss or a mentor or a friend. And I feel like whatever the skill is, is going to make you very successful. And again, it could be, it could change the direction of your career or you could decide to like start doing something new or something like that. It's like popping into my head as like something very random. <laughs> like maybe you've been planning your friend's wedding, right? <laughs> and like you do a really good job and people are like, oh my God, that was amazing. You know, best wedding ever. And now you become a wedding planner, right? It's like, I, I have like weird stuff popping into my head like that. So, you know, again, it might not be as big as a wedding. It might be something like a smaller skill, but you know, it's like something that's going to get you attention. I also feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you here, Cancer. So you could be uh, discovering a lot, something that makes you very joyful. You have the Two of Pentacles. Again, work hard, play hard. I would make sure you and Capricorn always get this. You, know, you two are opposite signs. And I think you both need to make sure uh, that you're balancing out your energies, that you're not like wasting too much time or too much energy on things that aren't working in your life. So I would really make sure to uh, balance out your vibe here with the Two of Pentacles for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the judgment card, you have the three of cups. Three of cups is a celebration or happiness. So I do feel that there could be a lot of happiness coming in for you with the three of cups. Uh, I also feel that people could be celebrating something that you're doing here. So again, I think you really need to pay attention uh, to what people are celebrating about you because I feel like it's something that, you know, is like a blessed idea. You know, it's something that's going to make you very successful. With the sun, you have the moon. So there you go. <laughs> I don't really like the sun and the moon together in readings because the sun and the moon together can represent like two people who are not meant to be together. Uh, you could definitely have a person who's like trying to come back from the past. And I will say we have Pluto going retrograde. Sometimes I feel that Pluto retrograde energy can bring people back from the dead. <laughs> and you have the judgment card right there coming back from the dead. So I would be careful. I feel like, you know, again, I think there's, you know, this reading is kind of saying to me, there's like a new person right here, page of cups. Uh, could be any sign. And I feel like this is a much better offer. I feel like this would be a mistake. I don't know. It's popping into my head. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Love it. I love the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles together. Uh, the two cards together, to me, represent settling up with the universe. It basically says you could be getting a settlement from the universe. And, you know, this could be energy that's owed to you. It could be car positive karma. Um, maybe you've done a bunch of work on something in the past and now you're getting a result, you know. Um, you know, I always look at the Eight of Pentacles as material success on the horizon, but it can basically say you've done a bunch of work on something 
in the past and now you're getting the rewards. So I feel for a lot of you uh, that you're getting the rewards for the work that you've been doing all along, which is great, but also it could be mon just money in general. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this Beyond the Ordinary card and this Birds of a Feather card. Yeah, if, I mean, again, if you're looking for love, I would be just a little bit patient. I do feel there could be a person that's coming in right now or this month or whatever, but I feel like the two of you are like two peas in a pod for sure. I think that, you know, this is saying some there's something extra special that's coming in for you. Again, that, that uh, Beyond the Ordinary card, it basically says there's something that is beyond the ordinary that is entering into your life. Uh, it feels like a connection to me for most of you. Uh, for others, again, I think it's what's about, you know, for all of you, really, I think it's what's about to happen when you, like, if you discover this talent, gift, skill, or ability that you have. It's like you creating a wedding uh, factory or what, what, what the hell would that, what, what did I say? Wedding planner, right? <laughs> Maybe you become a wedding consultant or whatever. Uh, so I feel like that's what's going on here uh, with this energy. And again, I feel it's like extra special. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups, the um, Temperance card, and the Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. Again, if you are finding new work, new business, new something to work on, I feel that you are finding a lot of success in whatever this new stuff is. I also feel you're you're finding a lot of happiness as well and, you know, kind of like new direction. So I feel like you feel fulfilled. You feel like you're doing the right thing in your life to me. And yeah, I feel like you're just feeling like much more successful. Nine of Cups is about being in alignment. So you're like in, in perfect alignment with what you want. You have the Temperance card. Temperance is cause and effect. I mean, no, it's not, but that's kind of like the energy I'm getting here because you have the two of pentacles to the temperance card. He's pouring those two cups back and forth and it's a card of alchemy. He's trying to turn one thing into another. But what I was getting is that I feel like you need to pay attention uh, to cause and effect. To me, justice is cause and effect, but also kind of temperance. Like he's trying to get a result by pouring those two cups together, um, but he like needs to keep trying. <laughs> and he's trying, he's trying to create a transformation. And also he has to be patient as well. I kind of feel like this is also like, it is weird, but I do feel it's kind of encouraging you to give a person a chance here. So like if you meet a person and it's like maybe your first date or isn't like exactly amazing. I kind of feel this is saying, you know, give it another shot. You know, it, you don't, f f f love at first sight is BS. They've proven that like time and time again. People that stay married, they always say that, you know, there's been studies on this. They don't fall, they didn't fall in love at first sight. Like both people got to know each other and then they fell in love. So, you know, this is kind of like saying it might be worth, um, you know, kind of giving someone a chance. And as I always say, like, I think a lot of people are like, oh, I went on this date and feel the butterflies. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? The butterflies might mean this person is going to give you the shits. So I avoid butterflies at all costs. And I think you should too. I think maybe this person, it's like, they're good. You're attracted to them. And, but maybe the first date you're like, eh, I'm not sure about this person. And I would say, this is like saying it might be worth giving it a second chance. Uh, you have the, because of this right here, you have the 10 of cups. Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. Ten of Cups is happiness, uh, good energy coming in for you, joy, you know, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, you know, happy home, happy family. I feel like there could be a really solid connection uh, coming in for you here with the Ten of Cups. I also feel like there's a lot of abundance that's coming in for you with the Ten of Cups. And yeah, that's pretty much all I get there. I thought I was going to get more. I didn't. So we're moving on. But let's see. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Temperance card. Uh, like temp Nine of Cups is about being in alignment with exactly what you want. It's about your energy needs to be aligned to your goals or whatever you're trying to attract. Uh, temperance is about changing your energy to be in alignment with what you want. So again, it's a card of alchemy. He's mixing the water back and forth between those two cups. And so he's changing his energy so he can get what he wants. And that's what I would do here. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a victory, success. Yeah, again, I'm telling you right now, I think it would be worth it to be patient with a person. There's also like something you don't know about this person is what I'm getting. If you're meeting a new person and you're not so sh sure about them at first, it's like I, this person could be like a secret millionaire or something like that. I'm not saying that's what's going on here. I'm just giving you an example. It's like there's more to the story. You know, I, th I think that some of you, it's like you meet a person, you're like, okay, that person was okay. Not sure if I would really go on a date with them, but it's like, I think that giving this person a chance would totally be worth it. So, you know, I would, cause I feel like you're gonna discover something else. Uh, with the 10 of cups, you have the hermit. The hermit is about coming out of hermit mode. You have the hermit twice here. Uh, so again, you know, this could be the person. This person could be coming out of hermit mode. Maybe the, maybe your first date isn't amazing because, you know, they're kind of you know, stepping back out into the dating scene and they just haven't warmed up yet. But it's like, I think that the second, it, it, you know, it's kind of popping into my head that the second date will be completely like 180 degrees turnaround different 
from the first date, like completely new person. But it's really, really, they just had to get warmed up. You know, that's kind of like the feeling I get here. I also feel this energy, like if you're trying anything new, you know, so it doesn't have to be love. If you're trying something new in your life uh, at all, uh, you have this fire card. It says reckless action leads to conflict. It's funny. This is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So it's going to be good. But you have two challenging cards here. You have this hindrance card. It says fate has blocked this path for you. So again, I feel like you have to let go of the past, number one. But number two, it's kind of funny that I was saying all this stuff about, um, you know, this person. So again, you might feel a little bit of a blockage at first. And it could be a good thing because maybe you have to overcome that blockage. But I also feel that, you know, fire. It's like this. something has to warm up here. Something has to... Uh, develop to a certain point. We even see this with temperance. It's like temperance, it's like going back and forth. Like something needs time to develop. Something hasn't fully developed, whether it's love or again, if you're trying something new, I just, the whole entire reading is saying to me, give something a second chance, try it again. Like if you do something once, Maybe it's a job or maybe you go like try a job or something like that. I don't know if that's possible, but you know, like whatever you're doing, I would give it a second chance because I feel that it's going to be totally worth it. Uh, you have the seven of wands, the page of cups and the hermit. The seven of wands is a card of conviction. It's a card that says when you know that you know that something is for you, when you believe it deep down in your bones, you know, deep down in your DNA, that's when it will be for you. So if you're working on any projects or, you know, if you're creating anything, this says the deeper you believe something, the better. I also kind of feel that maybe, again, you're attracting a person who is has their boundaries up. Like maybe they were hurt recently or whatever, and they just need to warm up a little bit. Uh, you have the page of cups, you know, here's the new love. I also feel, you know, we've already talked about this enough. I'm done talking about it, but you have this fish in the cup here. That fish in the cup could represent a dream. So if you're trying to manifest something uh, in life, and especially if it's an idea and pe that people have told you you're good at something, I would try it again, or um, I would put the work in, or you know, again, if people are telling you like, oh, you're natural at doing this thing, believe it, you really are. And this is you manifesting it. Uh, you have the hermit. The hermit needs to shine his inner light. And so again, I feel that a lot of you could have something that makes you very special or you could have a skill or talent gift skill or ability that leads to a lot of could lead to a lot of success in your life and i feel like this is saying like use those skills um it's going to be worth it <laughs> and it's going to lead to a lot more success and i really feel that here with the hermit i feel there's a lot of success i feel like there's a lot of growth opportunity as well coming in for you but it's going to come through like the things that you've learned. The hermit, he's been to the top of the mountain. He's learned from his dark night of the soul. And now he's using it. Are you kidding? With the seven of wands, you have the page of cups. Again, someone has their guard up here. It could be both people, honestly. Like I'm wondering, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if the first date is awkward or something because you're both awkward. Maybe you need to realize that both, you're just as weird as this person is or you're you're being just as awkward as this person is, right? <laughs> so I would like give it some time. Uh, with the page of cups, you have the justice card. Boom. All right, like, are you kidding? I literally said cause and effect. I knew something with cause and effect was going to come up in the reading. And these two are together. I was really getting cause and effect off of that temperance card. That's why I said it. So, you know, uh, the justice card is cause and effect. It is. It says, if you put energy into something, what do you get out of it? And again, I always say, whenever I have uh, justice with a love card, to me, that basically says, trust the evidence. It says that if you put energy into the person, do they do they return the favor? And if the answer is yes, keep going. If the answer is no, stop and do something else. Uh, here you go. With the Hermit, you have the Six of Pentacles, uh, cause and effect. You also have two sixes here. If you've been watching me for a while, uh, you know that I love two sixes. Uh, to me, two sixes says that you're going in the right direction um, you're, you're heading it, you know, it's basically confirmation for your path is what I'm trying to spit out here. So I feel for a lot of you, this is confirming uh, the path that you're on or what you're working towards. Uh, you have this not card. It says unsuccessful plans. You know, I think this is a mindset thing. It's like, um, you know, again, maybe you think something didn't go as well as it actually did and it went way better. It's like, you need to untangle your brain here or unscramble your thoughts about like how capable you are. I think that the reading is trying to get you to see that you're much more, you know, trying energy, right? Like I said, it's like you were born with a skill that you are very good at. Um, that you could be saying, like, I'm wondering if you're saying weird things to yourself. Like, you know, if you do something and someone says you did a really good job, it's like you're saying to yourself, but I didn't because maybe you didn't put 100% of your effort into it. Like you you feel like, oh, I half-assed that or I didn't do as well as I should have. And someone's telling you, you did a good job and you're like, oh, I really didn't, you know? But I think it's because you didn't try 110%. But that's not a bad thing because you're, like your 50% is worth 100%. So I think you need to, again... I, you know, I don't know if my math makes sense there. Someone whip out a calculator, right? But um, what I would say here is, you know, I think you need to add up 
everything in your head and realize how good you are at doing something. This next card says, increase your effort if you want to achieve your goals. Yes, I think you will achieve your goals easily by using your skills. You have this flute, it says disappointment in a friend or a lover, uh, this past, like some sort of past situation here with the judgment card, like someone who's back from the dead. It's like maybe you, maybe you literally haven't heard from a person for years and they're like coming back. So, you know, I would be careful of that. You have this wheel card, it says indecis indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Yes, make some choices, make some decisions. I think everybody needs to do this right now and start small. You know, like, what do you want for dinner tonight? And uh, don't think about it, just say something and then make that decision and eat whatever you just said after I said that, right? I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's cake, right? Go and do it because I said so, right? But make a decision. I think when we start making small decisions, we start making bigger decisions. Um, you have this fair man card. It says, dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Uh, you have this fly. It says, period, ill health and depression. If you like know a person that looks like Dwight from The Office, I would probably avoid that person. I also kind of feel like some of you could have a person coming back from the past. Like I wouldn't, I don't want to put this energy out there, but you know, again, this person could be like sick or something like that, or they could have something uh, going on. So, you know, take that how it resonates, right? Uh, you have this whale. It says, great worry over nothing. Uh, normally it's Pisces that gets this card, but now it's you. So I would let go of your worries and your fears about how things are going in your life. But uh, I really like this reading. I think you you know, are in for some good stuff this month. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.